Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and I just wanted to give you a quick little update with the pepper plant and talk about a little problem that I have to deal with right now. If you see these little brown lesions right here, little spots around some of these bottom leaves of the pepper plants. If you remember, recall earlier I posted a video and when they first started appearing, when I wasn't sure what, what it was, thought it might have been some type of like nutrient deficiency but after doing some research online I found out this is actually a brown disease spot and it's basically a bacteria that like built up so what I'm gonna do now is is basically come in and clip off these bottom leaves and all the leaves that I see that has the presence of this bacterial growth so I'm gonna cut that off and give the roots a very very good wash under some probably warm water nothing too hot you don't want probably something around 70 degrees 80 degrees just to keep the plant from like the roots from getting too much shock with either too cold or too hot so something around room temperature will be perfect and so I'm gonna give that a nice wash clean out the container I'm actually gonna switch it to a bigger container give the roots a little bit more space to grow uh, but before we do any of that I first want to clip off any of these leaves that have the presence of these brown, sp brown spots basically and as soon as I do that then I'm gonna wash it, everything out and change out the container so we'll come back after that's done and I'll show you what it looks like okay welcome back so I clipped off a bunch of the leaves here I still might clip off a little bit more just to have to finish inspecting them. After looking at the leaves that I cut, so basically, let me show you. You have these brown lesions right here that come on. Usually this happens um, with more so with outdoor plants when the soil splashes up on the, on the leaves and from like it's too much moisture, so bacteria starts to build up and grow. So I'm not sure exactly what happened here because I mean there's nothing that really splashes upwards being that it's grown indoors and it's a pretty controlled environment the only thing that I could think of that may have happened is maybe like an aerial bacteria got into the container and just started to grow because this thing drinks up water maybe once every week I've refilled it already several times I'm not even sure how many at this point but quite a lot so maybe that attributed to the growth in there and I probably didn't wash out the container as thoroughly as I should have maybe so I'm gonna give it a new home new container completely sterile give the roots a nice good wash and hopefully this problem stops now if I flip over the leaves you actually begin to see these almost like a powdery substance at first I thought it was aphids instinctively usually when you see small white spots on the bottom of the leaves normally it's aphids but you could clearly see this isn't aphids this is basically some type of like growth but I've never experienced this before if anybody know has seen this please let me know I'm pretty sure this is probably the same uh, leaf disease that bacterial leaf disease that I mentioned probably due to that but for now I'm gonna clip off every single leaf that I see that has this going hopefully it doesn't stun the plant too much being that it has all these fruits producing but if I don't treat this now before it spreads to the higher leaves to the higher up the canopy it's gonna reach up to the fruit and it's gonna start cracking the fruit and breaking it open and you don't want to deal with any type of bacteria. I want this to be a clean, healthy environment. So we're going to clip this all off. And anywhere I see this presence. And like I mentioned, we'll be right back as soon as it's all done and ready to be in its new home. Okay, all the trimming is done. And I feel like I decimated this pepper plant. I felt really bad cutting off all these leaves, but unfortunately you have to take care of the situation at hand and it's not always going to be a perfect 
quick one two you may have some breaks in between but it's perfectly fine because look at all these beautiful peppers growing as well as a lot of new flowers and all these beautiful new buds in between so i'm perfectly confident that this pepper plant is gonna survive and bounce back as it waves and shakes and softly right there so I, can, I think it's still gonna be a happy plant so time for its new home we'll be right back okay welcome back everything is done the pepper plant has its new home and I gave it a bigger jar it's this is a half mason, half gallon mason jar and the only thing that I did was I simply covered up the my reading line to see how much how much nutrients are left this way it prevents any lights to penetrate through and it pre that'll prevent any algae from building up hopefully preventing any further damaging on this plant and as you see I pretty much cut off a huge amount of the leaves and all that's left now is basically only some of the new growth that's happened as well as a few tiny side leaves but watch we'll come back in about a week when I do my regular pepper updates and you'll see how fast this plant bounces back and these peppers are maturing very good and getting nice and big hopefully by cutting off all those leaves and washing the roots i gave the roots a really good wash very good cleaning and under just some soft running tap water it was basically i put it under very low setting so it doesn't really damage the roots too much and i hope i didn't give this plant too much of a of a sh transplant shake uh, i mean shock so i guess we'll We'll come back in about a week and just see see what happens. But for now, this is what the pepper plant looks like. And yeah, I guess thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you can, if you know what that leaf development was underneath the leaves, what that is, please, please let me know. Thanks again.